Hello YouTube, Metal Trooper 62 here, and here we have another AK parts kit. Gotta get that fix for that addiction. But uh, anyway, this one came from Arms of America, which that's where I buy pretty much most of my AK kits from them. Uh, I have bought a few here and there. Uh, some on forums or, or whatever, but most of the time, Arms of America is my go-to place to get AK kits. So, get that, and I will show you what I got. Okay. Hungarian 7.62x39 AMD 65 parts kit, wood grips, and it came with a... Steel 30 round magazine. Okay, get that part out of the way. So, here it is. Some of you might know what the AMD 65 is. And, uh, but it's got this, this side folding type stock. Just real basic. But, uh, it is a matching, it is a matching parts kit, so that was a plus. I went through it and checked all the small parts and everything, and everything seems to be here. Um, <clears throat> I need to do a little bit more research on this, uh, this stock unit here. I'm not real familiar with it, but uh, it should be easy enough. But as you can see, the rivets are, the old rivets are still there, so... Those can be a bitch to drill out. And you just want to take your time because if you're drilling through there and you break a bit, it's a bitch getting out. Take my word for it. It's happened. But like the like the paper said, came with the wood grips. Wood grips seem in pretty decent shape. There's some slight rust on some of these parts, but nothing, you know, nothing major. That's the pistol grip, and then this is the uh, the lower handguard, and as you can see, it's got that basically another pistol grip in the front. So we we'll just turn it around. To me, this isn't really that comfortable holding it like that, but we'll see when I shoot it. But this seems to be in. Pretty good shape, like I said, it's got crud and stuff, which is to be expected on a on a used AK, military used AK. But basically, it's just cosmetic. There's a little bit of pitting right there, but like I said, that's cosmetic. When I finish it, refinish that part, uh, you won't be able to tell. So let's get that out of the way. And this is uh, the muzzle brake for the AMD 65. It's specific to that rifle. Um, this is typical. This will fit on other, you know, threaded AK barrels. 762 by 39. Um, I had bought one of these years and years ago, and uh, so I had I had one on one of my AKs that I used for a while, but. Pretty cool. And then this is the gas tube. And this one does not have wood or anything on there. It's just bare. It'll sit on there like so. And the AMD 65 had a 12 and a half inch barrel. So what I'm probably going to do as far as barrel, I'm going to get a 12 and a half inch barrel. And they make a, another one of these that has a little bit it's a little bit longer so you get that uh, you get that 16 inch overall length and I'll just uh, tack, tack weld it and pin it so it's legal I mean shit ATF gives machine guns to drug cartels but we have to have a special tax stamp if we want a short barrel rifle bullshit total bullshit but I digress. Like I said, this was a matching parts kit. 
and you can see the number. Phone will focus. Ah, oh, piece of shit. DE5527. It's on the bolt carrier. I'll take the bolt out. And you can see. Probably not because my cam my phone's gonna be a douchebag and not focus. If I put my dirty hand behind it. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Well anyway, that's the bolts matching. I'm about ready to check this phone across the room. Um, and then this is the top cover. Top cover is in pretty decent shape. Again, cosmetic and dirt, which that's all minor crap. And then there's the DE5527. Now it feels like to wants to focus. Now this is a recoil spring. There's no numbers on this. And then... These are all the small parts. This is the uh, front trunnion DE5527. Um, and this is the <clears throat> rear sight block. And like I said, just a little bit of surface rust and stuff like this. These don't have as many numbers on them as like, like say the Polish kits that I got. There was part numbers all over them Polish kits. Um, this trigger guard did come in a little bent. But that's easily fixed. That's not even an issue. Um, it's a gas block. And if you can see in there, you can see a little bit of green and stuff. And that's obviously from running corrosive military ammo. But uh, everything seems to be, there's the front sight block. But uh, for the most part, it's in good shape and I didn't have I've been putting off buying one of these 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 kits have been real common well stuff starting to kind of dry up and everything so I wanted to get one of these kits this was one of the the cheaper kits out there I think I paid uh, I want to say it was about 280 shipped so that's not too bad oh I didn't show the mag and then I got a Hungarian 30 round mag can't never have enough mags and this is something that I haven't really seen a lot of this but um, if you can see this mag was serialized and then they crossed it out and then there's kind of a electro pencil type marking right there but uh Mag's in good shape. The follower works great. There's no dings or major dents. So that's a plus. But anyway, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to touch bases with y'all and uh, show you my new project as if I don't have enough projects going on. I got way too much projects going on. But it keeps me busy, and uh, I still have a few more parts kits I'm wanting to get. I'm uh, wanting to get one of the Hungarian underfolders, and I'm wanting to get one of the East German AKMs from like the 60s and 70s. Those are a little bit more. I've seen those anywhere from 450 to 500, and that's just for the parts kit, no barrel this and that so um, just trying to decide which way I want to go but anyway I guess that's about it um, hopefully I'll I'll be able to upload I'm gonna see if I get some new video equipment or borrowing some from somebody um, I really would like to videotape some of you know the build process and stuff but trying to trying to do it with one hand bending stuff and putting stuff together and one hand holding the phone is pretty much useless. 
So, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe only if you want to. Until next time, this is Metal Trooper 62 saying see ya. Y'all have a good one. Bye.